what is up guys and welcome back to the game plus today's video i got you another update on the play the playstation 2 emulator available for pc android and mac and ios devices so the newer version that came out recently is version 0.52 and as always some of the uh, updates that they add on the emulator are compatibility improvement for some of the games as you guys can see right here we have a list of all, a couple of games that were updated with a newer version of the play emulator that are running a little bit more properly now so they're running a little bit more stable compared from before and as you guys can see, you can see a couple of games that were improved the performance in the emulator. Operation Winback 2, Golden Eye, and so on. But on top of that, they added many other improvements in, on their status. So there are now over 500 playable games, which is 25% of the PlayStation 2 uh, catalog. On the, of course, that are available in the compatibility uh, tracker. The compatibility tracker you're gonna find it all the way in the top right here and they're gonna tell you um what percentage of the ps2 library are playable or not which include uh games when you load it but it doesn't do anything else intro but it doesn't pass through the intro in game you could play it but it's not a hundred percent and there's uh the older percentage which is 25 percent that are 100 percent playable uh, I'm gonna have a link down below in the video description so you guys can uh, go to the website so you could check the compatibility list and you can also download the emulator yourself so you can uh, start getting set up in your iOS device or computer just in case you're playing a computer but mostly this is for iOS devices so I'm gonna show you the improvement and some of the performance I'm gonna be testing one game in particular which is um, what's noticed here and um, some of the updates another thing that they added is uh, fix it the dual layer dvd issues in again in some other games in this game champions or nora i haven't played that game but that's some of the updates that they did for the emulator because mostly of the updates that they do is for certain games and so on so another thing that they added here is especially for the game that i'm going to be testing out the game that i'm going to be testing out is going to be the fallout uh, brother who was still i'm going to be testing that game out uh, they fixed it an issue just in case any of you guys were somehow playing that game or try it before in this video or on an older version of the emulator before they fixed it an issue with a um, memory card some of the other issues that they also fix uh it was also fixed in the previous version before as well too which is was um issue causing with the memory card like saving the game it was corrupting your data and on top of that another feature um vital for the emulator which is the safe state that when you save your stake it was causing corruption to the file or was causing the emulator to crash they did some other fixes on that aspect of the emulators just like they did in the previous version which is was 0.51 as you guys also probably already saw in my previous video about the update in the emulator uh, another thing that they did they improved some of the uh, FPS shooters they improve some other performance as well and also they added something else right here at the bottom called the added CD run CHD support to be completely 100% honest with you guys I don't know what that is is either probably having a a, a physical DVD drive to boot to boot your games uh, from the DVD drive um, this feature i don't think is available on the mobile version especially for the ios device running it from there is mostly probably for computers i'm not 100 sure i need to test that out but as far as i know these are the options right here and once again i always check the compatibility list to see which games are compatible to use with this emulator and which are giving me problems i always gonna have a list down below in the video description so you guys can check it out for yourself as well so now we're gonna be booting the emulator and uh, give me a second i'm gonna be booting it using uh jitterbox as you guys can see i'm gonna show you in a few and also i do have a tutorial for uh using jitterbox to boot uh, the emulators that i'm using and also i made a new video on how to do this using also alt in order to boot some of the emulators because if you download any of these emulators i've been showing um on my tutorials and in my previous video you do need to have that otherwise when you open the emulator if the emulator crash that's the reason why because you need to have the emulator running using the jet 
I also as you guys can see on my screen I'm sorry for getting off topic I have another emulator here that I, I put a post in my uh, community tab and somebody actually figured it out and yes it's a Dreamcast emulator that will be coming out coming up later I can promise you exactly which day well uh, we're gonna be doing some videos on that as well too but first uh, but let's go back to the main topic and boot up the play emulator let's go to settings we're gonna have everything as default so the, the back end that we're gonna be using is gonna be OpenGL so we're gonna keep it as default we're gonna start our, um, we're gonna be doing some resolution scaling we're gonna start from the default which is 1x so we're gonna go from 1x all the way to 8 to see how the game perform and to see if it's 100% playable or not and we're also gonna be switching to Vulkan to test that out as well too so I'm gonna try to have this in a 10 minute video no longer than that so please bear with me so I could just show you all of that and again if you're using the emulator we are uh, out store and you don't have jitterbug make sure that at the bottom right here the out server jet is enabled otherwise you won't be able to boot the emulator so now the game that I'm going to be testing out again is going to be Fallout Brotherhood still the PlayStation 2. So let's boot the game and let's see what happens. So right now the aspect radio is 4x3. I'm going to fix it to 16x9 for your viewing and enjoyment. So in a few seconds you're going to see that the screen is going to be fully fixed. And I'm going to have as always um, the frames per second counter in the top left corner. I'm going to be skipping all the all the intro videos so i could just show you how this look i'm gonna make a quick game real quick also fun fact about this game you could play two players so split screen with a friend uh with your loved one you could do that and let me select the character i'm gonna go with her i'm gonna skip some of the cutscenes so we could get into gameplay right away This is running um, OpenGL and we're using 1x resolution. As always, in majority games that I tested, always the audio is one of the issues. It started glitching out. And you're going to see random drop to the FPS. Now we went from 60 to 27 frames per second. Let me skip this so we could get into in game. And also another thing that I'm noticing is that we have that screen shaking. But let's see, the game is running now at 60 frames. I'm noticing some audio glitches. I don't know if you guys could hear that too. But it's running 60 frames. It looks a bit delayed because it's 1x. Well now we're gonna be experimenting in increasing the quality. So we're gonna go to 2x now. 2x, let's see. Quality improve quite a bit. Yeah, quality improve quite a bit. And I see 60 frames per second. And I don't know if you see that artifact near the HP. It actually has like a square box. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, stop right here and zoom in for you guys. So I'll put something here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There's some some visual artifact. I hear some of the audio still like kind of like lagging. We'll say our game right here. I'm gonna save it right here. There's go up on the resolution factor. We're gonna go to 4x. The game started to look a little bit more clean. And I'm happy to see, yep, the character model looks even more cleaner now. And we over 60 frames per second. So let's go inside here to see how we... No, we can go in here yet. Uh, if I remember correctly. Oh, we got to go to the bar if I remember correctly. Oh, I don't have a weapon equipped. Let me equip my weapon real quick. There we go. Well, there we go. Now I have my weapons equipped. Perfect. I have my weapons equipped. Uh, okay. Let's go find the bar. There we go. 
some of them are busting up the bar right now. My name's Ruby. I'm what you might call. Let's skip this. Okay, let's go to the bar. I did play this game a long time ago and I beat it. This game, um, the reviews are really bad for this game, but I know the game sucks. But when you're playing with somebody and split screen or co op, it's actually enjoyable, to say the least. It's always enjoyable when you play with somebody else. It was in 60 frames, and still we're getting 60 frames, and we have a 4x. And you can see how clean it look. is looking right now. Even look at the character model, they look clean now. We're gonna switch real quick to times 8, and then we're gonna try to switch in between Balkan to see how it does. Let's skip this. Let's see how we can handle time eight, which is I think is five K. All right, let's see. Nope, it cannot handle it at this resolution. <laughs> we went from sixty frames to around twenty frames per second. Even though it looks more cleaner, I don't know if you guys you guys noticed, but it actually the screen has started shaking even more. And look how slow we got. So the upper limit for playing this specific game we opened here will be 4x. And remember, I'm using the iPad Pro M1. Now it's using the M1 iPad. I haven't tested out any other iPad. This is the only one that I have available on me right now. But as you guys can see, 4x is the max for this game so far. So we're gonna do a quick um safe state. We're gonna quit the game because sadly, in order for us to switch to the other backend, we actually need to close the game. So we're gonna go to one X and we're gonna run the emulator again. Wait for this to load a little bit. There we go. Load safe state. Let's see how it does. We Vulcan. Okay, we're using the Vulcan. Yep, using Vulcan. Oh, we had a lot of visual artifacts on the HP. But as you guys can see, as you guys see on the HP, we don't have that weird square box around it anymore. But something interesting is happening, which happened be with all the games that I tried. We had the audio, but the video is now completely gone, which means this is all playable using Vulcan. So your best bet to using this game, it will be using OpenGL. And if you're playing in an N1 uh, device, you could do OpenGL and you could do time, times 4x actually to run the to run this game. That's the upper limit so far. It's gonna be of course it's gonna be dropping between 60 and so on. But it's I will say it's fully playable. As long as it doesn't go below 30 frames per second, it's actually qualifying my book to be playable. If anything goes below 30 frames per second, it's not playable at all. But as you guys can see, you see, it's keeping the 30 to to 60 frames. So this is actually quite playable. And if you want to have a more stable experience, uh, it would be better to actually leave it uh, to X, actually, because it looks pretty nice, too. And it will run about like around 60 frames, and the game still looks, it looks plain still. It looks clean. And you get like around almost 60, 60 frames per second. So this actually looks... Uh, cleaner and stable so that would be all got for the video today remember to always leave a comment if you have any question give, give me a like if you enjoyed the video and also you could share the content as you are a new viewer and you're here for the first time and you enjoy this type of video remember to subscribe to the channel and always yes let me know what you guys think i take all the feedback and when you guys have a question or suggestion i try to work on on those so 
we could make some more videos for you guys so based on your feedback so once again thank you for watching remember once again the like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one